Welcome to Math with Professor V. Here is your latest Integral of the Day Finals Week Edition. This is just a cute one that I really like. I picked it up during the Integration Bee a couple weeks ago, and it's been sitting in my notes ever since, so I figured today was the perfect day to share it. We have the definite integral from 1 to 64 of 1 over the cube root of x plus the square root of x dx. So to solve it, the first thing I'm going to do is go in and make a substitution. But what sort of substitution is appropriate? Notice we're dealing with cube root of x, so the index is 3, and square root of x, the index is 2. What is the LCM? What's the least common multiple of 3 and 2? It's 6. So what I'm going to do is let u equal the 6th root of x, or x to the 1 6th. And then you could find du right now, but it's going to be messy. So what I love to do is just raise both sides to the sixth power to get rid of the denominator in that rational exponent. So u to the sixth is equal to x. And then now we can differentiate. So 6u to the fifth du is equal to 1 dx. How are we doing? Okay, so that means this dx over here is going to get replaced with all of this. So how can I figure out what the cube root of x and square root of x are in terms of u? It's not difficult at all. So I'm going to take u and let me square it. So remember, u was x to the 1 6th. If I square that and multiply my exponents, I get x to the 1 3rd. That's my cube root of x. Yes? Good. And then similarly, u cubed, that's going to be x to the 1 6th cubed, which is x to the 1 half. That's my square root of x. So we're ready to go. One last thing. Don't forget to change your limits of integration. So u of 1 is 1 to the 1 sixth. That's 1. And then u of 64 is 2. Oh, whoever wrote the problem loved us. Here we go. So new integral goes from 1 to 2. dx is 6u to the fifth du over cube root of x is u squared. Square root of x, u cubed. How are we doing? Okay, now let's clean this guy up. Let's take the six outside. We don't need him there. Integral one to two. I can cancel out u squared from everybody. So now I have u cubed du over one plus u. Okay, since the degree of the numerator is higher than the degree of the denominator, yep, 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 let's do some long division. I'll write it this way, u plus one divided into u cubed. So just ask yourself, what do I multiply u by to make it u cubed, u squared? Then you distribute that, so that'll be u cubed plus u squared. Subtract that row from the row above, negative u squared. And then repeat. What do I multiply u by to make it negative u squared, negative u? And then distribute that back out, so negative u squared minus u. I subtract this row from the row above, and now I get plus u. We can keep dividing, plus 1, and then u plus 1, subtract it, and then finally, this is my remainder now, negative 1. So how do you rewrite your integrand? Just leave the 6 outside. It's minding its business. Integral 1 to 2, I have u squared minus u plus 1 minus my 1 remainder over u plus 1 du. Are we good? Okay, let me copy this down so we can continue below unfettered. I'm feeling squished. How about you? Well, yeah, we bit squished, right? Okay. Ba boom. Keep the six outside. It's minding its own business. Don't make life worse. Okay, we're ready to integrate. So we'll have one third u cubed minus one half u squared plus u minus ln. Yep, absolute value u plus one evaluated from one to two. Very good. Okay, so six is out there. I'm gonna have one third times two cubed minus one half times four plus two minus ln of three, that's the upper limit, minus lower limit's gonna be one third minus a half plus one minus ln two. Good? Okay, perfect. Now notice this is negative two positive 2. Those will cancel out. And this is 8 thirds. And then over here, this is going to give me a 1 sixth. Okay, so all together, I'll just cut to the chase. This is 6 times 11 over 6 minus ln of 3 plus ln of 2. 
And then we can use our log properties, combine that. And then now, yeah, let's distribute that six back through because it'll cancel so nicely with 11 over six. Why would we not? So we'll get 11. And then remember this becomes ln two thirds positive. So plus six ln two thirds. Wow, wow, wow. Did you get it? Box it with immense pride, please. And give yourself a little high five for a job well done. Okay, that's it for today. I'm actually officially off to go grade finals. If you enjoy Integrals of the Day, then stay tuned. Make sure you've subscribed. Give this video a like. And I'm going to do a special Integral of the Day countdown to 2026 like I did last year. So make sure your notifications are on. Also, if you need to review, if you still haven't taken all your finals, you've come to the right spot. I have full-length final exam review videos for Calc 1, 2, sample finals for Calc 3, differential equations, and so much more. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, Math with Professor V, and I will be back sooner than later. Bye, guys.